I won't let you, Kokichi. If anyone is gonna get him to confess, it's me. Gonta, I'm going to look back at the whole case one more time, okay? When you're convinced, you just let me know, all right? Let's end this together. So be. Come see how your grand plan worked. This is the truth of the case. Such an innocent and sweet guy do something. The case began last night. After being convinced by Mew, we all logged into the virtual world. To log in, you have to plug the memory and consciousness cords into the device. So, we all plug those cords into our helmets and enter the virtual world. But the culprit had accidentally plugged their cords into the wrong ports. Because of this, a connection error occurred between the culprit's brain and their avatar. As a result, the culprit would forget everything that happened in the virtual world. It's possible that this had an effect on their avatar's personality as well. Because I... I can't believe that someone so kind could commit murder. But we had no idea this error even happened. And so we all logged in one by one. Meanwhile, Mew was the last to log in. She had modified the killing game simulator so she could accomplish a specific goal. After Mew confirmed we were all logged in, she took out the bottle of poison. placed it on Kokichi's seat. This was done to make it look like Kokichi was killed by poison when we returned. Yes, the reason Mew modified the simulator and brought us to the virtual world was to kill Kokichi in the virtual world, but make it look like he had died in the real world. After we had all logged in, you explain the world to us. Use the salon phone to lock out. Objects are unbreakable. Your avatars use all five senses. She also explained the map of the virtual world in the mansion's entrance hall. But her explanation was intentionally false. She wanted us to misunderstand the world. However, one of us was able to see through her scheme. The very person Mew was trying to kill, Kokichi. Kokichi was going to use Mew's plan against her and plotted her murder. But Kokichi wouldn't do it himself. He used a patsy to be the culprit in this case. Kokichi was tight-lipped about the motive, so I don't know why the culprit agreed. But it seems as though, right after logging in, when Kokichi and the culprit went outside, they were already working together to execute the murder. Eventually, we met up with Kokichi and crossed the river to the chapel. Mew had us split up to try to find some secret of the outside world. 
Kaito, Kokichi, Gonta, Tsumugi, and I investigated the mansion, while Maki, Himiko, Kibo, and Mew investigated the chapel. Splitting us up was also part of Mew's plan. At the chapel, Mew told Maki that she was going to look around outside. She chased after our group while we were heading toward the mansion. Once she made sure we were across, she dropped the bridge into the river. This was to trick us into thinking that the river separated the mansion and chapel. At the time, we thought nothing of it. It was just another one of Mew's pranks. That's why we continued with the original plan to find the secret of the outside world. We went to the mansion and split up to look for clues. Kokichi searched the salon. Kaito searched the roof. Tsumugi searched the dining room. I searched the kitchen. And finally, the culprit searched outside the mansion. Around that time, Mew was headed for the wall that was on the side of the chapel. She passed through the wall and headed for the mansion to kill Kokichi. You see, the wall was a special wall that Mew had added herself. This wall was programmed so that only objects could pass through. And Mew had changed her avatar settings from human to object. That was the hidden route she prepared for herself. She set up a wall that only she could pass through. Mew headed toward the mansion, but she was seen by Tsumugi on the way. When she entered the mansion, she pulled out her cell phone. She didn't tell us that there was another way to log out. Then, she spoke a name into the phone, which forced that person to log out. It was Kaito who was on the roof at the time, the same roof where Kokichi and Mew were going to meet. By having Kaito search the roof and then forcing him to log out, she was making him look the most suspicious, but her plan didn't go smoothly. Kokichi was waiting on the roof with a culprit and the toilet paper used to kill Mew. While Mew was distracted by Kokichi, the culprit snuck up from behind. And used the toilet paper from the mansion's bathroom to strangle Mew. This was only possible because objects in the virtual world are unbreakable. Mew's avatar was strangled to death, and the shock killed Mew in the real world. After the murder, Kokichi left the cleanup to the culprit and left the roof. He probably returned to the salon as soon as he could to avoid drawing suspicion. The culprit then took the lattice from the storage room and placed Mew's body on top along with a hammer and a cell phone. The culprit heaved the lattice over the railing and forcefully slid it down the roof slope. With a body on top of it, 
the lattice became a makeshift sled and flew off the roof. It went through the wall that only objects can pass through before crashing into the chapel. That was the crashing sound that Kibo heard in the chapel and we heard in the mansion. Mew's wall hid the fact that the mansion and chapel were actually right next to each other. That's why Tsumugi and I were able to hear the crash from the mansion. As the final step, the culprit had to then get off the roof. Because we were at the mansion, they couldn't take the stairs or they'd be seen. So they used the toilet paper again to escape from the rooftop. They hung the toilet paper from the binoculars on the roof and used it like a rope to climb down. Once the culprit was safely on the ground, they pulled at the toilet paper to retrieve it. They would have returned it to the bathroom, but they ran into us as we were leaving the mansion. In a panic, the culprit tossed the toilet paper somewhere nearby. Without that one little mistake, we might never have solved this case because the culprit doesn't remember. This is the truth you've forgotten, Gonta Gokuhara, the ultimate entomologist. Oh, God. Gonta, this is the truth we've reached. I can't do this right now, man. I can't do this right now. I'm falling apart. I just... I can't. I can't continue. I need to take a break. I am hurting so much right now. I'm just gonna save. I'm just gonna come back to this after I've taken a break. Alright, I'm back. Um, sorry I had to take a break there. My eyes were hurting something fierce and I was just feeling really awful. Um, but let's go back into it. S sorry. Going to not really understand. Is going to not smart boy. But if everyone agree, then everyone probably right. Go to trust everyone. Gonta. But why? Going to kill Mew. Forget everything. Going to even think he not do anything bad. And then go to try to blame someone else. And make everyone suffer. Oh. Why? Why go to do such terrible thing? God, I'm right back in that place I was. Gonta, it's not your fault. That's for sure. It's Kokichi's fault. He must have tricked Gonta. 150%. I totally didn't trick you him. You lying sack of... Before we go into that, it's voting time. We should finish up the class trial first. But is this the right answer? We're not being fooled by Kokichi? Boy, I wish we were. For once, I wish that we were. Right? Oh my god, me and Shuichi are on the same wavelength. of previous voting times. Well, after so many killing games, I guess it was bound to happen eventually. It's just as well. This killing game is a bad influence on the baby. Oh, my Monotone. You're even starting to look like a father. Yeah, I gotta get my act together for the baby. 
Interesting mark. Who must have killed now one then, of them? Pull yourselves together and let's begin! The heart racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless face off! It's voting time! I'm sorry I'm not my cheery self, but man, if. If, if executing Gonta is supposed to have me in a happy mood, I just, I can't pull it off. I bet there's gonna be votes for it seems Kokichi. The has finished. Now then, let's see the result. Yep. Kaito voted for Kokichi. I kind of figured someone was going to do that. Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? This is going to be a long episode, by the way. There's no way for me to split it up any other way. I'd, anywhere that I would try to split it would just ruin the episode. Absolutely right. Whoa, look at that! You voted correctly! Congratulations, you guys! Give yourselves a hand. Let me hear your joyful voices. <laughs> Let me hear your joyful voices. Damn. Damn it. Why? Jeez, they're all just moping around. They should be happy for themselves. <laughs> I know I'm super happy. Hey, what should we name the kid? Good question. We should prepare six names. Yeah. What? We're having six tuplets. I'm so happy I might cry. I'm so happy I might go crazy. And another thing. Hey, Kokichi, you said this would liven things up. What gives, huh? Here. You said you were going to liven the killing game in the class trial. And I said I'd put the motive, the secret of the outside world, into the killing game simulator. <laughs> that was just a lie. Oh. Who? So it was just a lie. What was that? He just laughed it off. Hey. Are you satisfied, Kokichi? I want you to tell us. What is the outside world? Is it the motive you gave Gonta? Mm. I plan to explain it. I plan to explain all of that, but it's more like, how do I say it? You guys are just gonna assume it's a lie if you hear it from my cute lips. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Then let's have Gonta explain. Huh? Oh, Gonta. Please stop! Gonta doesn't remember anything. How can you expect him to? All right! Then we should all go back into the killing game simulator. Huh? What? Because? Why don't we ask the Gonta in the virtual world? But... But, but going back into the virtual world is... <laughs> <laughs> There's a much easier way than that pain in the ass method. Gonta's memories didn't transfer over, so they're still in the virtual world as data. I can combine Gonta's consciousness from his last login with that leftover memory data. Ta -da! Alter Ego Gonta is now complete! Alter Ego? Basically, it's a separate Gonta that only exists in virtual space. 
If we listen to what he says, we should be able to find out what happened in that world. Huh? What this? What happening? Huh? Is this Gonta? Huh? Is that Gonta? What's that mean? Well, what sort of phenomenon is this? What did you do? Hey, um... Relax, Amigo. It's not magic and it's not a trick. Alter Ego Gonta is just a computer simulation. It's just imitating Gonta's thought patterns. It's actually different from the real Gonta. Um... Gonta not understand who this alter ego person. Now then. See? It's even stupid like the real Gonta. You can hardly tell the difference. Plus, he's got Gonta's memories of the virtual world, so he should remember what happened. Please. Th then, other Gonta. Tell Gonta. Why? Why? Why did Gonta kill Mew? Huh? K kill Mew? Why does other Gonta know about? Oh. Unfortunately, our plan failed. You can tell them the truth now. Oh. Gonta. Then Gonta no could save everyone. Huh? Save everyone? Gonta don't know. Hey, answer Gonta. Why did Gonta kill Mew? Wrong. Gonta just want to save everyone. He wanted to save everyone? That's... Gonta, what do you mean? Gonta... Gonta think for a long time. How can Gonta be useful for everyone? Gonta not smart enough to help with trials. Gonta strong, but no can fight exiles. Um. Gonta feel frustrated, cause Gonta no could do anything. <sighs> Gonta understand how this Gonta feels. Yeah. Technically, they are the same person. But. So that's why Gonta think he have to do it for everyone's sake. Gonta think he gotta do it, cause everyone else not want to. Gonta. So, Gonta kill Mew. What? What do you mean by that? I, I don't get it at all. Oh. Jeez, Gonta is so bad at explaining as always. I guess I'll have to help. Um. So, if you remember what happened at that time... No, we shouldn't. If we want to prevent another murder from happening... Yoink! I'll take that car key then. Okay, Jesus just left the potty to his advantage and took the car key from Monokuma. Huh? The car key, so you used it? Yeah. After working tirelessly, I finally found the door for the car key. After opening it, I saw the outside world. What? The outside world? What? That was Monokuma's motive? But why would seeing the outside world be a motive? I'll tell you guys in a second, but that was when I found about Mew's plan. <laughs> and it hit me. If I combined the two, then I would be able to save everyone. Please wait. Save everyone? What do you mean? Hey, hey. Hey now. You gotta listen to everything I say first. Anyway, that's when I made a deal with Monokuma. If I livened up the killing game, <laughs> then he would let me use the outside world as a motive again. Huh? In other words... Well, let me chime in. The motive key that Kichi napped was the right to view the outside world. But even though he saw the outside world, he didn't try to use it for the killing game. That disappointed me, but then Kokichi suggests we reuse the motive. Yeah, yeah! He said that we should bring back the right to view the outside world one more time. And I decided to run with that idea. So I loaded a flashback light with memories of the outside world and put it in the simulation. Huh? Memories of the outside world? In the flashback light? What? The secret of the outside world in the virtual world was about the flashback light? You know. And if it was the flashback light, it would mean the secret of the outside world is part of our forgotten memories. Huh? What are you saying? Wait! But why would anything about the outside world be a motive in the first place? Incomprehensible. What's going on here? Oh? Huh, you can't remember? 
Okay, fine. You get it? Let's talk about the motive later. We have to finish up this case first. Um... Monokuma hid the flashback light in the simulator, but I knew where it was hidden. And I showed it to Gonta in the virtual world. Hey! Hey, you even knew where it was hidden? That's not fair! To tell you the truth. Whoa, I just placed it. I never actually said I hid it. Too bad. If anyone had asked, I would have gladly told you where it was. It's a little late for that. Always messing around. So Gonta was exposed to the flashback light. Um. Yeah, and Kokichi and Gonta leave together. But Gonta can watch Kokichi so he not do anything weird. Gonta, you're so sweet. But I knew you'd say that. Even without your ridiculous physical strength, as long as you're selfless and courageous, you'd make a terrific bodyguard. Bodyguard? With you by my side, I know I'll be safe from any trap. Okay then, let's go! Oh, wait, Kokichi. It's okay, leave it to Gonta. Gonta, keep eye on Kokichi. Yeah. He was weird after that. Was Kokichi trying to learn Gonta off by himself? Maybe. The only person I entrusted with the secret of the outside world was Gonta. Gonta. After that, Gonta got taken to forest near mansion. Is this flashback light? It looks like it. Maybe the secret of the outside world is hidden in it? We gotta tell everyone. Wait. Are you sure you want to believe a liar like me so easily? Huh? This might be a trap, you know. Shouldn't you check if I'm lying first? I mean, you want to protect everyone, right? This is the perfect time to do it. Protect everyone. How did this happen? And there, going to remember secret of outside world. But that just confused going to more about what to do. <sighs> what can going to do to save everyone? Going to no could think of anything. <laughs> so I told him. If he wants to save everyone, he should put everyone out of their misery. In other words, a mercy kill. What did you say? What? No way! Was Gunta tricked? Wrong. No, you not tricked. B.S. You were tricked. Cause when Gunta remembers secret of outside world, Gunta thinks <sighs> it would be easier to die. Huh? What? Um... Remember what everyone said at the beginning, that this academy is hell. <sighs> Gunta, agree. Academy that forced students to be part of killing game is hell. So everyone think they want to escape this place, right? But if it's still hell outside, what do we do? Huh? What do you mean, Gonta? <sighs> outside is hell. Outside... Inside is hell. Outside is hell. What should Gonta and friends live for? How did this happen? And everyone who died, what did they die for? It's hell outside and hell inside. But... And then, Kokichi, tell me. Best way to save everyone from hell is to put them out of misery while they still not know. And the only one who could do such dirty work is Gonta. Yeah. That's right. The only way you can save everyone is to free them from this hell. Gonta took on the dirty work for us. If he had survived the class trial, he would have lived in this hell alone. Get it? Gonta took on that role for us. Shouldn't we appreciate him more? Boy, if I could just really a little neck. Hold on! Wait a minute! I still don't get what's happening! Um What outside world are you talking about? It's hell out there? What do you mean? What did Kokichi and Gonta see? What did... 
We forget. Hey! Hurry up and tell us, or else we won't be able to understand it. Right. Gunta, what pushed you to do such a thing? Please. Answer, Gunta. Sorry. Sorry, Gunta no can tell you. Why? Can't tell us. Why? <sighs> because if Gunta tell you, then everyone will end up like Gunta. Everyone. Despair. Huh? Despair? I know it. A despair that makes you want to die. A despair that makes you want to put everyone out of their misery. Did you think the kind Gonta would tell you about such despair from his own mouth? But... But now we don't know any more than when we started. <sighs> now you know how Gonta and I formed the Killing Game Busters, right? Then, can't you accept everything about this case? You can imagine the rest, right? I used Mew's plan and turned it against her. I hid Gonta away from sight, where Mew and I were supposed to meet. Huh? Kaito's not here? Yeah, you're right. Oh man, I'm honored you asked me to meet up with you, Mew. Is this a booty call? Or are you here to kill me? No, you figured it out, but there's nothing you can do. You can't resist me. I made sure of it when I programmed your settings. Uh-oh. Guess I'm in trouble now. I'm sorry, but you should just give him up. This is my only chance. I have no choice but to do this. My inventions will change the world. They'll make the world a better place. It's my duty as a genius inventor. So, so I can't afford to die here. So sorry. Gunta, so sorry. Don't be sorry, Gonta. She was trying to kill me, too. She said it was for the world or whatever, but that was just a poor excuse. We're doing this to stop the vicious cycle of misery, so you don't need to apologize. But, but, but. <laughs> Gonta, sorry. Gonta, so sorry, Mew. I already said you don't need to apologize. We had to do this for everyone's sake. It, it can't be. Gonta would never. By the way. You should know that it was Gonta's idea to slide the body to the chapel wall. Huh? What? Gonta's idea? Gonta. Before Gonta went to roof, he happened to see me walk through the wall. Gonta tell Kokichi and he think of everything else. But... Gonta gave me that chance. I like to think we make a pretty good team. Stop it! Good. What's so good about that? You're the worst. Um... That's whole story. That's everything that happened. Well... So in the end, you don't plan to tell us of the secret of the outside world. Sorry! Gonta no can tell you that. Well, I mean, hearing that story, it sounds like you were tricked by Kokichi. How can this be? But Gonta did kill Mew. Gonta really did it. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone, Gonta is so sorry. Gonta. <sighs> but Gonta's plan to save everyone failed. Gonta not save anyone. Gonta just make everyone suffer more. Gonta, idiot! Gonta is stupid, so stupid. How can Gonta call himself gentleman? <laughs> Everyone, please forgive him. We we aren't even mad at him in the first place. Gonta tried to save us all from despair by taking on the sin of killing us. And you reached for the truth, and Gonta's but you reached for the truth, and Gonta's plan failed. All of you could have been saved if you died without knowing anything. Huh? So you're saying it was wrong to fight for the truth? Yeah. Yes, it was. At least, Gonta and I think so. You should have all died ignorant. Gonta even killed Mew for that sake, you know. Don't screw around! Enough of your shit! You made him kill her! Please stop! 
No, Gonta is bad. Because Gonta kills someone. Gonta is murder. It's true. You know, if you really... If, if Kokichi really, really wanted us to all die and have Gonta make it out of here, he wouldn't have been so eager to lead me down the right path. So, that's B effing S. <sighs> Yes, going to make everyone suffer. That is true. Sorry, everyone. So Gonta is sorry he failed everyone. Gonta is sorry for being stupid. Gonta is sorry for making everyone suffer. Gonta is so sorry. <laughs> you get it? You don't need to apologize anymore. You're probably all thinking that I should have taken on the dirty work and not Gonta, right? Everyone hates me, so the role of a villain is perfect for me. I know that! Yeah, I know already. It should have been my responsibility. But when I realized Mew was targeting me, I thought to myself, she must have already have a way to prevent me from fighting back in the virtual world. I suppose. And in fact, you were right. She set it up so you could... She set it up so she could paralyze you with just a touch. So am I! That's why I had to ask Gonta. I would have done it myself if I could. <laughs> Don't want to hear it. No. There were so many other ways than this. So many other ways. Mew couldn't have possibly gone through this murder without the virtual world. All you had to do was not go along with it. You had some messed up reason to do it this way. So infuriating. That's enough. Okay, but you didn't need to push everything on to Gunta too. Please stop. Stop. It's okay. <sighs> Everyone, please don't blame Kokichi anymore. Please. <sighs> Gunta, you. <laughs> How nice can you be, Gunta? You really are stupid sometimes. <sighs> you're, you're right. Someone as stupid as Gonta could never be a gentleman. Hey, hey! Hey, so are we done yet? Huh? What? And another thing. You guys are starting to talk in circles. So let's just move on to the exciting stuff. <laughs> yes! The eagerly anticipated punishment time! So am I! Wait, if you're going to punish him, then please punish me too. Huh? Okichi? I know that! I'm prepared for it. If you're gonna execute Gonta, then I... <sighs> it okay. It's okay, Kokichi. Please let Gonta sacrifice himself for everyone's sake. That's all Gonta can do anymore. But... Just promise Gonta that everyone forgive each other and be friends. Okay? <sighs> Alright. I promise. Gonta's last wish that we forgive Kokichi. <sighs> Son of a gun. Fine. 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 I'll forgive him. <sighs> it just. Uh, uh, I hate everything about this moment. <sighs> All right, it's time to punish the ultimate entomologist, Kunta Kokuhara. Mm. Oh man, I bet his punishment's gonna have a lot of gross, nasty bugs. <laughs> ah, that's right. You don't like nasty stuff. Eek. No, it's not that. It's it's coming. Yeah. What? Already? Eek. The contractions are speeding up. Any minute now. Honey! Quick, hold my hand. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. <sighs> Go <Gonta! sighs> Are you are you being serious right now? I, I just I I have such a hard time telling anymore what's real and not real with you, Kokiji. I'm I'm so mad. I, I'll forgive you only because Gonta asked me to, but it's just I'm so 
I'm so wrapped up in my anger right now. I'm, I'm, I'm forgiving, but I'm not forgetting, I guess. <sighs> Wait, please. I don't want this. D don't go, Gonta. No. Don't cry, Kokichi. Gonta is okay. Yeah. yeah, Gonta not cry. Gonta's really not scared. But, but... How can this be? Gonta upset. Gonta upset he no could protect everyone. Gonta, you... You can't cry either. It's punishment time! Well then, let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time! Sorry, everyone. Oh, sweetie. Gonta, love you all. Gonta, idiot! Gunta has been found guilty. Time for the punishment. What is happening? have been destroyed. Dang it. Wow, so sad. All that cuteness gone to waste. Why? What are you talking about? You're the one responsible for this. Why would you do such a thing to your own children? Because lately they've been acting all body bite and neglecting me. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we're going to get the hang of this whole parenting thing. But how? Th that's why? Got a minute? Doesn't matter now. I don't have the time to give him attention. Okay! Anyway, I'm gonna walk away quietly and go mourn my dead kids. Later! Kokichi, why don't you tell us now? What is the secret of the outside world? If we don't understand it, then we won't be able to understand or accept it. What was that? I can't accept it either, Kokichi. What is the secret of the outside world? What kind of secret would push Gonta that far? You? you? Kokichi, if you really cared for Gonta, explain yourself to everyone and... I don't want to. What? I don't want to, stupid head. Kokichi. <laughs> oh man, did you fall for all that fake crying? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Gonta. I know you wanted me to forgive him, but he's such a piece. Of garbage. 
Also, I'm gonna have to split this up into two, two more, two episodes. There's no way. Look at the recording time. This is ridiculous. You're so dumb! I would never cry for Gonta. Oh. What? Fake crying? Because. If I said the actual truth back there, Gonta would have been real mad. That would have interfered with the game. So I simply lied to calm him down. <laughs> See? As long as you lie for a good purpose, right? What? What? Hey! What do you mean, what really happened? Why did you make him do that? Obviously, so it wouldn't be boring. Huh? What are you? Which means... I gave Gonta an incentive because I thought it'd liven up the game. Come on, think about it. If I actually wanted to save everyone like what Gonta did... I wouldn't have betrayed Gonta. You should have realized that. Hey! But then, why did Gonta. <laughs> <laughs> Who cares about that idiot? Guys. I want to enjoy this game filled with suspicion and betrayal from the bottom of my heart. Wow. Wow. Kokichi gave us one of his creepy smiles. When I saw it, I finally saw Kokichi for what he really is. Malice. His entire body nothing but raw and unfettered malice. I am the supreme leader of evil, so it's obvious my personality would be twisted. The more you suffer, the more I enjoy it. There are people in this world who spread grief and misery for no reason than the thrill of it. And I'm one of those people. Nothing pleases me more than inflicting pain on others. You? Seriously, who the hell do you think you are? Then? So, for your own entertainment, you sacrificed Mew and Gonta? You're so dumb. What's so bad about that? You kill people for money, right, Maki Roll? You bastard. Someone like you has no right to call me Maki Roll. Do you want to die? Do you want to die? <laughs> you look so much better with a scowl on your face, Maki Roll. But hey, you guys are just way too trusting. If you had suspected me more, then... <laughs> Mew and Gonta wouldn't have died such meaningless deaths. Don't screw around! <laughs> meaningless deaths! Kaito screamed and sprinted up to Kokichi like a bullet. Oh, do it. A dull thread resounded through our skulls. Oops, sorry. I tried to dodge you, but I punched you instead. Kaito! You! By the way, Kaito, is it just me, or are you way slow? <laughs> maybe, just maybe, Kaito is hiding something from us, too. Kaito! Are you okay? Kaito kept coming at him, and Ma glared at Kokichi with piercing eyes. Is that enough? For someone who claims to be bad at fighting, you were pretty agile just now. <laughs> and you believed a lie like that? You bastard. <gasps> Whoa. You really want to die, don't you? Let's have more fun. Oh, did I finally provoke you enough? Is it because of Kaito? Maki. No, Maki. <laughs> what am I thinking? Maki wouldn't lose her cool for a guy like Kaito. He's way too pathetic. He's all bark and no bite. Let's face it, the ultimate astronaut is just a trainee anyway. Koki Kokichi never got to finish his provocation. No one cared what he had to say anymore. They all rushed to Kaito's side. Right? Kaito, are you hurt? Are you alright? 
Can you stand? Do you need to lean on my shoulder? Sorry. Sorry, my MP's at zero, so I can't use any recovery magic. Oh? Hey, why are you all so worried about this pathetic... That's wrong! Pathetic? Look at yourself, Kokichi. Hmm? What? What? No. Kaito has always had us by his side, see? But no one wants to be around you. You're alone, Kokichi. You always will be. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking about friends. Friends don't make this game any more entertain- Oh, man. <laughs> Jeez. Boring. I'm no longer interested. I don't care anymore, but I will tell you this. <laughs> the one who will win this game is me. Kokichi spat out those words, then left the room. Uh, Kaito! Kaito, are you okay? Uh, huh? Hey, Kaito! Hey! You don't look well. It doesn't seem like he punched you that hard, but... What? Did you hit your head or something? Uh, I'm okay. It's fine. Okay? Don't push yourself. You should lie down and... Uh, I said I'm fine. Kaito tried to get up, but... Uh, Kaito doubled over. His knees gave out and he collapsed hard. <laughs> what? Kaito? Blood? Why? What's the matter, Kaito? Come on. Don't freak out over this. It's nothing. My cold just got worse is all. I didn't know that coughing up blood was a cold symptom. It's not. You're a robot, and you don't know that? I'm saying it's fine. Just chill. I just cough too much, cut my throat or something. I don't know. As he spoke, he somehow got to his feet. Yeah, that's it. I just need a drink of water. Sorry, but I'm gonna head back to my room. Kaito! Okay, I'll go with. Shut up! Don't follow me! Huh? What? Uh... I can walk on my own. I don't need your help, Shuichi. Ka Kaito staggered off. Well... I'll go with him. It would be bad if he collapses on the way. Uh, right, I'll leave it to you then. D don't worry about it, Shuichi. Kaito was just stressed out is all. Why? Why did it end up like this? I thought... I thought I could help. I wanted us all to survive. I wanted it so damn bad. I kept fighting for it. Fighting for the truth. This is what I get. By trying to survive, or just playing the stupid game. Just like Okichi. Damn it! It's almost time. Yeah, it's almost time. This should be enough. I'll end it. Now is the time. I'll end this killing game. <gasps> oh! He's the one who's been writing it? God.